Kathak is a style of Indian classical dance and for Sri Manesh Maharaj it's a way of life. Dance is his prayer and his devotion shines through his performance. Kathak is one of the eight major Indian classical dance styles and when Sri Manesh Maharaj takes to the stage, performance becomes an act of devotion. Trained not only as a dancer but also in the art of North Indian classical music, he spent seven years studying at one of the most prestigious schools in Mumbai. I know that many of you at home enjoy dance as a form of artistic expression, as a hobby or even as exercise. But to a professional dancer, it's a whole lot more. It's about bringing the stage to life. Sri Manesh Maharaj is devoted to the art of Kathak. So let's discover more about his passion and see him in action. Manesh ji, how are you? Hello Kajal, how are you? Good, good, good. Am I, am I interrupting your makeup session? As you can see, I'm putting a face on. <laughs> <laughs> as we all do. Many people ask why male dancers have as much makeup on as the female Kathak dancers. I mean, mm -hmm. Why is it so important? Uh, makeup is a very integral part of Kathak. And uh, for me, it really puts me into my character. And uh, it forms one of the main modes of uh, communicating through expression in dance, which is called Ahari Abhine. Ahari means adornment. So makeup falls under this category. A dancer literally has to put on a face so that whatever he expresses has to con be conveyed to his audience. And we all say that the eyes are the windows to the soul. So using kajal around the eyes, creating that dramatic effect really engages the audience and helps us uh, tell our story. Kathak is characterized by hand gestures, jumps and footwork. Tell me more about the origins of Kathak and where did the storytelling aspect come from? Kathak has its origins in the remote temples of northern India. It was practiced first by male Brahmins who were attached to the temples. Since then, Kathak moved from the temples and with the Mughal invasion in India, it moved to the courts of the great Mughal emperors. And here the focus shifted from worship to more a form of entertainment. Manishi, what is the purpose of bells or ghungurus? See, one of the salient features of Kathak is the footwork. So the bells play or the ghungurus play a vital role in Kathak dance and it is a medium of us communicating rhythm with the audience and with our musicians. What are you performing for us today and is there anything in particular I should look out for? The first piece is a kirtan uh, in praise of Lord Krishna. The item displays a group of peacocks roaming the Vrindavan forest uh, eagerly awaiting the monsoon rainfall and uh, they mistake Krishna's dark complexion uh, for the monsoon clouds. So they spread their plumage and begin to dance in ecstasy. Manishti, you have beautiful lines as a dancer. Thank you. And that story is such that even if you don't understand the language, it comes alive through dance and that's what Kathak is. Absolutely and that's the beauty of Kathak, you know. Everything is kept simple, very natural, so even the layman can understand what we're trying to convey. Your Kathak career has spanned many years. What are some of your highlights? Well, firstly, the launch of my institute in 99 was uh, quite a big highlight, a starting a start for me. Thereafter, I did uh, a performance called Chaturang with uh, three other dancers. Recently, I performed an amazing production at the Playhouse called Bhakti. I'm very excited for your next piece. Tell me more about it. This item basically uh, is entitled Durga Stuti. It propitiates the mighty goddess Durga uh, in her very various attributes. Uh, we all know that she is the slayer of demons, so the item portrays her having a fierce battle with the demon Mahishasura. At the same time, she is very merciful to her devotees who seek refuge at her feet. So this item is set to Rag Shri Tal Tevra of seven beats. for 
opera performance involves hours of costume and makeup, but that's just a drop in the ocean compared to the number of days required for rehearsals and practice. Manesh is mounting a new production, or rather a graduation or Rangmanj Pravesh of one of his students, and we're getting a taste of it. Maneshi, you mentioned your institute was launched in 1999. Tell me more about it. Allah Darshan was launched in 1999 with the aim to preserve and advance Indian classical music and dance in South Africa. And there are five disciplines that are taught at the institute. And they are harmonium, uh, tabla, vocal music, sitar, and as you can see, Kathak dance. Now the production that we are getting a taste of is a Rangmanj Pravesh. What does that entail? A Rangmanj Pravesh is an inaugural dance recital, a maiden performance. Uh, and it is a culmination of many years of rigorous training within the art form. And it is really a very auspicious milestone in the life of a Kathak dancer. We will be presenting actually Jugalbandi, which is actually a rhythmic dialogue between the percussionist and the dancer. <laughs> Maneshi, what goes into the preparations of a Rangmanj Pravesh? It takes approximately a year to start planning for it. And I try also and um, include the dancer in the behind the scenes, the admin work, the costumes, uh, phoning the press, um, be it the brochure as well, so that they get a holistic approach to the art form. I believe I'm joining your masterclass. I must admit, I'm a bit rusty, but I hope I can keep up with your girls. Let's give it a try. Okay, first let's recite um, the composition in Tintal. One, two, three, four. Da din din da da din din da da tin tin ta ta din din da ta ta din da ta te ta te te ya te ya te ya. Well done, Kajal. Very good. Thank you very much, Manish Ji. Kathak is a classical dance form that is very dear to my heart and watching Manesh and his students perform today brought back many fond memories for me. For Manesh, dance is an act of devotion. But I think no matter what your belief is, we can all appreciate the sheer beauty of the art.